let's get into a little Q and A. Ah, so many people, a lot of wrenches today. Ah, Canadian punk, uh, over a million sweat. Yeah, would have bought more, but they wouldn't let me. I would have bought, let me say that again. I would have bought a lot more, but they wouldn't let me. They're like, no, we have a cap for everybody because we don't want a bunch of people, you know, dumping from 12 months to 24 months. So we're just going to spread it all the way out. It's like, well, that makes sense. That's fine. Uh, any thoughts on Gala? I like Gala. I like the games that they're putting out. They look very, they look like real games like I would actually want to play. And I, I owned a bunch of Gala. Unfortunately, it's stuck on, uh, actually, where is it stuck on? Oh, no, no. I, I have it on Coinbase. Forget that. So I have, I have some still on Coinbase, and that's what's up. Oh, and also, yesterday when we were talking, I was not in the greatest of moods yesterday. As you may know, I've been going through some health issues and been uh, having some some drawdowns and some massive fatigue, but I think we got it all sorted. So uh, things are going good. And yesterday I was talking about the different exchanges that I, like people are asking what exchanges I use because we know the ones that I used to use still have a chunk of my money and crypto. But uh, I said, well, I don't really want to talk about it because I don't want to, whatever else. That was stupid. Here's who I use. Um, there's a link <laughs> in the description. I know I sound like a broken record, but it, and I put that in a day. It's crypto exchange I'm using in 2022. And there's a link right here. Let me do this. Let's open this up. So this is gonna take you to my website. It's Dan Teaches Crypto. It's 100% free. It'll always be free. And uh, these are the four exchanges that I'm using. Just so you know, everything I have here is affiliate links. And I talk about the the referral bonuses that you get. So I use FTX and I talk about why I recommend him. I use Kraken. I like Jesse Powell, I like the way, I, I, I like all his, I follow him on Twitter, you should too. He's a very interesting guy. That's number two out of four. Uh, I use Coinbase and I use KuCoin and I tell you exactly why. And that's it, that's the four. That's all I use. So I hope that makes sense. All right. <laughs> and Zeno says, yeah, keep nothing on exchanges. Exactly right. So that's why, you know, we have this, this handy dandy rules right here. Number three is don't leave any exchanges. Puck Queen says, Robbie handing out wrenches. Why not? Feeling good today. Uh, congratulations. You're a moderator. Uh, yeah, let's see. That's what's up. Uh, where'd I go? Lost my way for a second. Okay, here we go. Uh, JH has got a good point. Everyone remember that the pain is temporary. If you have your crypto locked up and sells your voyages, do not be ashamed of yourself. Don't be ashamed. You know, when we did this video for a three arrows capital, uh, again, I'm not going to make excuses for anybody, but there was a lot of pretty well-versed, smart people that got caught up in these guys' shenanigans. And I understand now where it all came from. Again, not making excuses, but a lot of people got taken. And then just like the story that we just talked about with, um, with Graham Stephen, you know, how many people, how many smart Chinese nationals got taken for this same Ponzi scheme where they thought they were buying a house that was gonna be built anytime soon and of course, these developers were taking money from the new people and then putting it into the, the builders so they could build the houses that were already owed. And then there's the big Ponzi scheme. I mean, these things just happen. So yeah, I mean, even I got taken for a little bit. It's just how it goes. Now, the big thing is when will we get through it? I don't know. But I just know all I got to do is just keep showing up every day. And um, that's it. Just keep showing up. Never again, revenue was a scam. And look, as as well versed as, as everybody is here, I mean, who here hasn't fallen for some type of scam in some way? I mean, it's everywhere. 
I mean, it's just rampant in this, in this industry. It just is. Um, question, have you looked into Kadena yet? And if so, why a pass? Did you decide to pick some up? I haven't. I've looked into it. I'm trying to revamp the Dan Teaches Crypto website and put out some more videos over there just exclusively for that. So that was my, my next big focus. Also, we're doing that uh, charity obstacle course event for the kids here in El Paso. So I have to go back to the construction site and start rebuilding those things and working with the guys. So that's also taking my time. Uh, what's this? Using Coinbase One also for D DCA. It's not really a bad deal at all. Also, Coinbase withdrawal fees are not bad at all compared to exchanges. So Zoltan is talking about the Coinbase One program where you pay like 30 bucks a month and they waive all the fees up to a limit of $10,000 per month that you can uh, trade and buy into. And it works out pretty good. So like if you're DCing every day, that's like three bucks a day. Uh, if you're doing six or seven different ones, that's that'll pay for it right there. But someone wrote in to me and said uh, that, and as I understand it, Coinbase Pro isn't its own separate entity anymore. It's all converged together. I haven't looked at it. But they were telling me that Coinbase Pro even has uh, lower fees than that um, for each one. So I have to do a little deep dive into that one. But Coinbase regular is very easy if you just want to do it like that. Just which, whatever you want to do. Again, I just use those four. Ah, Jay Korn says, I grew up on Tumbleweed Street, El Paso. No, it's out in Zaragoza, Montana area where there's like nothing out there except sand dunes and such. Uh, where are we? Ah, Coinbase Pro will be shut down for September. I think it's the website. I don't know if it's still that thing. I'm not for sure. December. Okay. Um, <laughs> scam equals sure criminals are monetizing. Sure. Yeah. First time you're live, love your show. Notice your mood was a little off yesterday. I was really not in a good mood. But so what's happening uh, uh, with that is, you know, as you get older, different uh, hormones in your body start to dissipate. So you got to start to taking supplements. So like mine is DHEA. So I just had to start taking DHEA. And then there's another one called um, Bancada Lee. What the hell is that thing called? Anyhow, but uh, so, yeah, it just was a little bit of a rocky day, but today I feel great. I feel good. <laughs> you buying the dip, Rob? I'm dollar cost averaging, so every day doesn't really matter for me. It's just the same thing. Um, I don't, these days, because we don't know where things are going. I don't know if there's going to be like a big crash coming up, like some people predicting, or it's just going to keep going up like other people predict. So I'm, I'm doing a conservative DCA. And then uh, waiting till 2023 when I think things will start to really start to chop sideways. But I don't know. And see, that's the thing. Like, I'm not smart enough to know exactly where the market's going. So I just look at things and go, well, instead of putting big, big, huge chunks of money into crypto right now, because I don't know which way it's going to go, I'd still want to put a little bit in. And then in 2025, 2024, 2025, when the next bull run starts to come about, uh, I'll be happy. I probably paid for... Bitcoin at 22,000 and Ethereum under 2,000 and the other things and, and Solana and Cardano and Polkadot and Algorand and Gensokishi. So stuff like that. Yeah, I don't feel bad. We all got burned by those people. But again, watch that video uh, about Three Arrows Capital. Really does... It really does uh, open open up the mind to exactly what happened and, and just how we and the reason I, I did that video was because as time goes on, you and I will talk about Three Arrows Capital like it's like, oh remember Three Arrows Capital, just like the Mount Gox people talk about Mount Gox, like how big it was. I mean people kind of know it, but they don't really get that story and the feeling. So I made this video about Three Arrows Capital and I put it into Dan Teaches Crypto under the uh, safety section. As a reminder, so as people come in in 2023 and 2024 and 2025 and they start to see, you know, these crazy yields come about or, or they start to see a bunch of hubris and, and people 
you know, uh, talking negatively about people like, you know, have fun staying poor. And, and of course, this is going to be a super cycle. It's like, and of course, the people that are always super bullish, regardless of what's going on, they're going to look back and go and watch that video and go, oh, that's exactly what happened in 2022. This is just repeating. So I did that video for a specific purpose to help people move in, uh, later on. <laughs> Mom, the meatloaf. What is she doing? Oh, Eos. Eos had a pump. Good for everybody who owns. I still own some Eos somewhere. Probably not. What about SHIB? What about SHIB? Uh, nice little pump there. I don't know if it's sustainable. What I think about Ergo? I don't, I didn't, uh, I haven't done my research on that. So I'll tell you what I, what I've uh, known a little bit about and what I don't know. I don't know much about Ergo, so I can't say it. Yeah, that's a good point. Charles, can Cannon health, wealth, and knowledge of self, your goals are your goals, so go for it. Exactly. Health, wealth, and knowledge. Look, healthy people have hundreds of wishes, and a sick person only has one wish. Just remember that. So be thankful if you're healthy and can walk around and have no issues. Yeah, this is a good point. Darth Mike, and this is one thing I've, I've made mention of before, is that we lived through the lunar Celsius and Voyager, this generation of the crypto community, have had to weather some hard times and hopefully has helped them make better decisions for the next born. I got to tell you, this one has been pretty rough. I mean, it's been even rougher than the 2018, 2019 crypto winter. Because during that time, I mean, at least the exchanges were around. Uh, no one got majorly hacked. I mean, they all got hacked a little bit, but you didn't have to worry about total collapse of where you kept your, your crypto. I mean, people would talk about, uh, you know, take it off on cold storage and be like, yeah, yeah, sure. Sure, Maxi. But, you know, they were all right coming down at this point. So that's why I'll be one of those. I mean, I'm already one of those people, I think. There's been people, obviously, longer here than me, but in 2023, four and five, I'll still have this same, uh, this same banner, all these, these five rules. And uh, people will talk to me and they'll be like, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> he just has PTSD from 2017 and 2021 <laughs> as it happens all over again. Uh, let's see. I don't know. It's just a good day. <laughs> <laughs> as uh, my entire beard is white. All right, everybody. I think that's it. Uh, Tushar Singla, DC on your channel this Friday. I have to go for some more tests just to make sure everything's in the up and up. So I don't know if I'll be a part of DCA this week again, but uh, I'll talk to Ben and James. That's even if they're not traveling or doing something like that. So that's it, guys. Um, that's it for today. So again, uh, check out, oh, it was a big thing. Check out the uh, sweat coin. And of course, look into Bitcoin.com, 100%. Those are uh, free, high-quality charts that you can use just to, just to pick your spots. But that's it for today. So look, thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. I really do. Uh, thank you. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much. Hit the like on your way out. That always helps, apparently. YouTube seems to like that. All right, adios.